All right, so we're gonna teach you today how we do a chain knot. There's a lot of really massive kingies in Nelson. Some of them are gigantic, and there's been some massive ones caught in Nelson, or the top of the South Island. If your terminal tackle's not up to standard, you will lose them. So instead of going out there under gun, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a chain knot. The beauty of the chain knot is it's super strong, it's very easy to do, and it's also very stretchy, so it gives you a bit of stretch or a bit of give, and also gives you a longer knot, so it's more protection for like cooter and those other pesky things in the water. So let's get into making one of them. First of all, you're gonna need some Jigstar knot sleeve. Next, you need some eight solid rings, or if you don't prefer to use them, the ring and grommet. But for day, today's purposes, we're gonna use solid eight ring. So to start with, you wanna cut a bit of knot sleeve at about just over a centimeter. So for kingy leaders, we prefer to use anything from 80 up to 130 pound. For today's knot, I'm gonna use Black Magic 100 pound. Right guys, so you get your knot sleeve, and you're gonna feed your mono through your knot sleeve, and you wanna probably come about 25 centimeters out. Plenty of tag end. Then you're gonna hold it. This can get quite finicky. Hold it and bring your tag end back through that small top eye. Okay, and that's gonna fold itself back around to double over. So you've got two strands going around with your knot sleeve. Now you wanna hold them tight, this can get quite finicky, and then do your first half hitch. And pull that up real nice and tight. Then you're gonna alternate. So you're gonna go under and over. So over, under. Now you want to make sure you're pulling it up nice and tight, over, under, over, under, over, under, and make sure you do it up nice and snug, over, under, over, under and carry on like that. You can make it as long as you want. The longer, it'll give you a bit more protection and it also offers a lot of stretch in it as well. Keep working your way up, doing it nice and snug. Then once you get to the end here, you can actually just chop off your tag end and burn it and that'll be fine, that'll do the job. I prefer to do a finishing knot. So basically do a loop. And I'll call up the line back towards the solid eight ring. And once you've done that, you can pull that down nice and tight. And that'll finish the knot off. Chop off the tag in. Like I said, if you prefer, it's always good to burn it anyway. And that is a chain knot. Perfect for your kingy assists.